Welcome to Double Bass with the Bass Pixie. This week we're going to cover part two of the Pink Panther tutorial. So if you've been following my videos, you'll have already seen part one of this version of the Pink Panther. The version that we're going to do the tutorial to is um, our version, Bamboozle's version of the Pink Panther, which starts out with a double bass solo, which is quite a swingy rhythm, uh, the double bass taking the very familiar tune for the first bit, um, and then the song changes and goes into quite a rockabilly, fast-paced version of the Pink Panther, um, which opens with the bass. So after the final note of the last video, which was an E, was a little introduction to the next section, which changes from the pizzicato to the slap style. And all we do is go from the E, and we have a slap, single slaps on a C and on a B, and then it goes into a run. So this opening part is based around um, a little scale riff. Um, I'm going to break this riff down into uh, firstly the notes, then we're going to look at adding the slap later. Um, and I suggest if you're learning and you're not 100% confident with your slap, this is the way to learn. It's even, even if you are confident with your slap, it's a really good idea to just break it down. Make sure you've got your finger in your notation, your tuning right, and then add the slap later. So, we're on the key of E minor, we start on that the chord is also E minor, so we're on that first chord. And we are starting on the E, followed by the B, which is the fifth note of the scale. Then we jump up to the octave E here. And then we're gonna come down in a chromatic style. Now all chromatic means is that you play every single note rather than the notes of the actual scale. So from the E, we play the D sharp, the D, the C sharp, the C, and the fingering I like to use is I just like to slide down. So I will use all four. As we know, we don't use this finger. We use the second finger, the first finger, and then slide that first finger down just for those notes. And that's the riff. So the riff is here. And we repeat that riff four times. When you add the slap to it, the slap way of using, it's not a swinging slap, it is a straight slap. So the notes are... Um, if you're a musician, you'd be playing the quavers. Um, if you're not, it's just the one and two and three and four and with no swing, nice and straight. And it sounds like this. Okay? And you repeat that four times over. So the next section of the tune is the part where the guitar takes over the main part of the tune and the bass goes back to being a supporting instrument. So the first thing I want to cover is the chords that we're going to do. So the first four chords in this section are the chord number one, which is the E minor, uh, the chord of C major, which is chord number six, back to chord number one, E minor. And then it does something quite interesting. It goes to um, an F7 chord. So the F7 chord isn't technically in the key of E minor. Um, what the F7 chord is, is a something called a tritone substitution for the fifth chord in this scale. 
Um, we won't go into the detail of the tritone because it is really advanced. So we may cover this in a future video. But um, for now, we're just going to stick to letting you know that the F chord is just a replacement chord for chord number five, which would be the B chord. So the first chord of this section is the E minor. And for almost every E minor in this section, we're going to use the same riff. So this riff is uh, quite a standard rockabilly riff. You'll find this in a lot of old rockabilly tunes um, in different keys. So the notes are E, D, B, and D. Okay, and that's repeated twice. And we do that with a slap. Okay, then we go into the C chord. So we've got a standard blues style riff on this C chord, which is the C, E, G, A. Instead of going back to the E, which you would do if you were staying in the, on the C chord, we're going to use the uh, sharpened seventh, which is the D sharp, to bring us back to the E, which is the chord after it. So with the slap, back to the E riff, and then we have the interesting F, and the notes for this, with the fingering, is F. A, with that finger, slide up to the C, D, E flat, all fingers down, back to the D, all fingers down, C, and then again, I like to use the sharpened seventh to bring it back into that E minor chord. So slapped, and then back to the riff, and the same C. Stop, so it's just one note on the E and it stops while the guitar does its and then we do it. The chords on the last bit are E minor, C, E minor, and then that's when it moves in to the next section, which is a swing section. So we're going to leave it there for this week. So the last chords are the uh, little E minor riff, followed by a C triad. And then the E minor again. So there you have it, part two of the Pink Panther. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Um, if you have any questions about this video or any comments or requests for future videos, please do message in the comments below and I'll get back to you on anything you want to know. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with the videos and also it'd be amazing if you could just give us a little like, click down below. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. Alexa, play songs by Bamboozle. I can't find songs by Man Boobs. Man Boobs. Ah, uh, it was staring at the microphone.